What is up, my fellow Net Dwellers? Couch Command here. We're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're looking at the Game Pass version of Conan Exiles. Make sure you stab that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below on your favorite spooky mod and subscribe to the channel for more weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. So when modding Conan Exiles, the first thing you have to know is whenever you're installing it, you have to install it to the same location that your Windows is installed on. So I normally use a different drive because I have a lot more space on them. However, because of the restrictions for modding this, I have to pick my C drive because that's where my Windows copy is installed. Make sure you guys do the same. If you didn't do it, you're gonna have to uninstall <laughs> and reinstall. If you remember back to the first part after the intro where I said you have to install this game in the same drive that you have your Windows installed on, your operating system, basically probably your C drive, the reason I said that is because if you do not, if you install this into any other drives, you won't have this very useful folder here, which says mods. And why we need this very useful folder that says mods is because this is how we enable mods. So if you did not install this to the same location as your Windows, go ahead and uninstall it. I am sorry, it sucks. You're going to have to install it to the same C drive. I wish I knew a workaround. I tried my diff normal tricks. I tried moving the mod folder after it had been created or moving the game after it had been created. I tried moving it to the desktop. I gave myself full ownership of it. Ran it as admin. I just couldn't get it to go. So just do yourself a favor. Take that extra bit of time. Make sure, make sure you put it in the same drive as your Windows. Anyways, so if we go into mods here, you'll notice I have none installed. So welcome to Vanilla State. Let's go ahead and exit the game real quick. I've already enabled modding here, but just a reminder, this game supports mods. You'll click Enable Mods. We'll then click Open Mods Folder. We're then going to go into Windows No Editor, Conan Sandbox, and we're gonna right click and we're going to do a new folder. We're gonna name this folder Mods. Now, the next thing is to actually get mods. And the thing to note is, basically Workshop has taken over this game. There are no mods anywhere else that are probably worth your time. Nexus mod has like a total of 50, but they're all out of date. So basically, we're gonna treat this like Starbound. Workshop's our go-to. And on Workshop, I went ahead and found this mod, History of Violence, which is a mod that lets me actually show how it works very quickly. So basically, if you come into History of Violence here, you can... So once you find the mod you want, as far as the Steam Workshop goes, we're going to snag this part here. So disregard the search text, we're just snagging that piece. And then we're going to go over to Steam Workshop Downloader. Now, if you need any instructions on how to do this, I'm going to go ahead and put the link to my original video walking through how to use Steam Workshop mods for non-workshop games. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna paste this here, hit enter, and it'll search for the game. You're gonna click download, which I've already done because it takes a little bit. Once you've downloaded the mod, go ahead and go into your downloads. Open up that mod. Then we're going to right click and copy it. We're going to go into the mods folder and we're gonna right click and paste it. That easy. So now we've got history and violence added. Now we just need to go enable the mod. So you're just gonna kick the game up, skip through the five different intro screens, go down to mods. We're gonna click on history of violence. We're gonna move it to the right for selected mods it back and it's gonna say, hey, you have to restart for it to take effect. That's fine. We're gonna go ahead and click play again, Conan Exiles. I'm going to ignore Battle Eye for the fifth time. And now, waiting for Funcom again. There we go. I'm gonna continue my previous game. And then once I'm inside, I'm gonna go ahead and I, we're going to go over to Feats. We're going to click on Weapons, and there's the History of Violence Weapons, which has the historical weapons to unlock and the miscellaneous weapons, like throwing knives, obsidian throwing knives, historical weapons like halberds and scimitars, knight swords, rapers. War hammers, wooden staffs, Bethunian flaxes, a wooden spoon, because apparently a wooden spoon, right? So that right there is how you mod Conan Exiles for Game Pass.
Thanks for watching the video, and as a thank you to all the people who've been watching these, I'm actually going to be hosting a dedicated seven-day server all through the month of October. That's right, it's a 30-person dedicated server. If you want the information on how to join it, you can just go over to my Discord channel, look into the announcements. I'll have the information as far as the IP address, the name of the server, and the password to get you in. I am definitely going to be running this at least through the month of October, so go ahead, have some fun. Let's see what happens. Aside of that, make sure you heavy attack that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below on what mods you're using for the spooky season. And subscribe to the channel for more weekly mining content. This was Couchman. You'll have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.